it's our future and it's uh, now uh, starting a new life in a new country, making friends. So it's uh, very similar between mm -hmm. me and Dunya's character. I was sick and tired of watching it before because I <laughs> watched it so many times. But um, I don't know when you watch it with an audience, there is a there is a sense of um, kind of first time, and um, they've uh, never watched it. So oh. yeah, for me, for the first time I watched it was yesterday. Wow! And I really liked it. It was really good. Yeah. I had very high expectations, and it exceeded all those expect expectations. So yeah, it was yeah, it was exciting. Before premiere, I was like so nervous about it, but when everyone sat down and we start watching, it was like, okay, I'm calm with it and I, I accept it. Yeah. And it was really good. At the end, I found that, yeah. yeah. When I found out about Fremont, <laughs> as a ci the city of Fremont, mm -hmm. because I'd made a film in the Bay Area before, and I'd visited San Francisco and Oakland several times. But I didn't really know that Fremont existed with, uh, and Fremont has the biggest Afghan population in America. And uh, I'd heard about translators, former translators, who had, been, who had moved to America and lived in Fremont. And the idea came uh, with the co-writer, Carolina Cavalli, to, and our producer, Marjan Amorimi, to um, have the translator be a, a woman. Uh, because there have also been uh, uh, female Afghan translators. And generally, in the media, representation of Afghan women has been as oppressed um, people who don't get any, who don't do anything else. They're just bowing down and things like that, which, I mean, the oppression is not incorrect. But th there's, uh, history has shown an abundance of examples of Afghan women who are very strong, very powerful, very active, very, very present. And that's how um, the story came about. I came 2021 uh, in America, so I just wanted to start again. I was looking for opportunity and it came uh, to me and I sent an email to him and we had uh, like two Zoom call after that we... We wanted to work, obviously work with an Afghan uh, woman who lived in America. And when Anaita emailed us, um, and from, from the first conversation, it was quite clear that besides having um, let's say, certain aspects of her own story being relatable to what uh, Donya is going through. She, um, she had, I mean, a very natural presence and a natural, let's say, um, demeanor about her, which, um, which really, f when I was writing, when we were writing the script, we had in our head and, um, someone like her, essentially. And the film is about possibilities of what a new life can bring and things like that. I just loved the script right away. And I talked to Babak and we were on the same page, you know? Um, so I was really excited about doing it just from that, but I gotta say, I was uh, kind of blown away with how much even better it was to actually do it because here are three people from different backgrounds and different places that maybe should never have even met and we're creating this beautiful art together. And there's something really exciting about that. Yeah.